Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 110 of Ocean Block. <laughs> and today we're going to pick up where we left off yesterday and see what we can get accomplished. Um, so let's get into it. Um, hopefully the um, in, uh, Supremium has built up. Uh, I was fiddling around with my Draconic Evolution uh, setup trying to automate it. Um, so yeah, um, I need a farmland. Do we got enough to make another farmland? Yes, that is good. It's good. So I got one more seed that I need to get planted. Alright, the elementium seeds. Um, now, do we have four more supremium to make the slime seeds? Yes, we do. Awesome. Awesome. We're gonna try and get all these seeds mocked out today. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Boop, 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 and a boop. And a boop. Awesome. Okay, so now we need another farmland. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I was so busy trying to get that draconic evolution thing working that I didn't, um, I didn't work on the immersive engineering part that I was supposed to do. Here's my queen slide. But I did figure out how to get the experience in the bottle. Um, you just pick up experience with one of them in, in your inventory and it goes directly in there. So, um, I just made an experience tab and put it on, <laughs> I put it on uh, my ender tank with the experience in it. So I just turned it on and filled them up like this. And, and, it, and it worked. Um, so yeah. Uh, let's see, what do we have? We had the fluff seeds, hepatis, uh, yeah, queen slime, we just did elementium, redstone, nickel, energized steel, we did the experience, we have diamond, oh, I think we made constantine, um, I think, uh, these may have been the ones that we needed left. Oh, we're doing the experience for Dang it. up. Um, 
says eight. jar so that would be 32 I need 32 of you might as well grab them uh, because I got the jars automated and just go boop, boop. Uh, it may have to actually create stone and turn it into dust so that could take it a minute. What are you doing? Yeah, it's turning it into dust. There we go. There we go. So it's getting there. So it finally ran out of dust. Uh, and then we can take these over here. gas tiers in. Are you a tier? Oh, it's a tier four too. Oh, sorry. I took it out too soon because I always do this. Oh, it's full. Okay. And it's filled. Nice. And a boop. Yes. Okay, so this one is a uh, tier four, so it takes Imperium as well. Imperium. Which we're running low on. Uh, hopefully that'll last. Okay, so that is that. Uh, Lumium, I'm pretty sure I did not do Lumium. Oh. Maybe I did, but I don't see a seed or anything. Uh, this seems pretty easy. Like I, should. let's go look. Let's go look and see if I have aluminum. It should be on the. Uh, you are Queen Slime, Elementium, Flux, Redstone, Steel, Diamond, Epitazon, Nickel, Constantin, Invar, Niotic, or it does not look like Lumium is out here. Okay. All right, we can just loop back in then. Boop. Okay, Lumium. Oh. Okay, so one, two, three, four. And what? Ah, oh, yes, Imperium. More Imperium. Seed and a boot. All right, we got the three seeds left to make. Uh, besides the one from immersive engineering, which we can totally do. So let's get the annoying ones out of the way. Oh, and I got an extra Imperium. And MP. 
Hyperion. Oh, oh, this takes the Solium Seed Base. Sorry, forgot about that. And the gas seeds. So now we're going to need the farmland for these guys. Farm. Yes, we have the stuff. I guess we don't have to have them supreme in farmland. Um, and a boot. 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 It's almost all of the seeds. We only need one more. Let's go ahead and get the farmland for that. And we'll put it right here. Um, now we need to set something up at Immersive Engineering. Um, I guess we could do it over here. I don't know. Um, let's get our magic book out. Now, how do you get rid of this? I think it's shift, left click, control, left click, or just left, plain left click. Um, this one. Uh, I think it's a heavy machinery. Industrial squeezer. Okay, and we need coke dust. So we also need a crusher. Okay, um, industrial squeezer. Squeezer. There we go. The squeezer is a multi-block structure that presses juice or oil out of organic materials by use of a big piston. The structure is built as shown above and formed by using the engineer's hammer on the central wooden barrel. From the side that has the engineering blocks, items can be input into the squeezer via the two hatches at the back that are marked with the blue dots. The hatch with the orange dot serves as an item input, an item output, and the block below it to output fluids. Applying the redstone signal to the control panel at the front will halt the machine's process. This behavior can be inverted by using by use of the engineer's hammer. The following list shows various items that can be squeezed into plant oil and the amount they produce. I don't want oil. Um, are you sure? Eight coke dust is one hot graphite dust. That's what I'm seeing. 
in an industrial squeezer, so let's go ahead and make it. Um, it just bugs me that it's not on the recipe list in, in the book. Okay, so... Um, I think, do we have to do a squeezer? squeezer. This might tell us what we need. Yay! Okay, it does. It's hard to tell by looking at the picture, but this shows exactly what we need. We need a piston. I can do that. I can do the piston. Piston. Boop, boop, boop. Done. Okay. Steel scaffolding. Oh, I didn't teach it scaffolding, did I? But I have five. Six. Oh, I did teach it. Nice. We have six now. That's pretty swell. We already got a slime steel seed. We're doing good. Um. check. I need to check. What else do we need? Two light engineering and a redstone engineering. Uh, a red, we already have a redstone and two light engineering blocks we already have. Nice! Okay, so check and check. Um, oh, steel fence? Four wooden barrels, steel fence, two fluid pipe, and four wooden barrels. Like, what kind of fluid pipe? That's what I want to know. Fluid pipe. Uh, probably this fluid pipe from immersive engineering. Whoa! takes lots of iron plates, but I should be able to get that going. That should just take it a minute. Uh, send in the plates to the doobly wop. Alright, we've got two fluid pipes and Three steel fence and four wooden barrels. Steel fence. Aha! Uh -huh. And then all we need is the wooden barrel. Ah, uh, imagine the one from Immersive Engineering. Oh, these are treated, treated wood planks. So, oof, um, I should have some more over here. Yes, I do have some more. Uh, how many barrels did we need? This, oh, it's four wooden barrels. So we need quite a bit of this stuff. Um, Just make 
take up a little bit more of this stuff. So if I need it, we'll have it. And oops, I ran out of wood. That's fine. I think we got enough. Uh, maybe. Oh, okay. Now we need more slabs. Um, did it not go in? Aha, there we go. Now that should be everything we need, but um, we need to find out how to lay it out. Okay, uh, this looks like the pipes maybe? And the scaffolding and a light block. Um, so we'll put, will be the middle. No, that does not look right. Um, does it have to face? No. Maybe it's the fence? I don't know. It's a shame you can't like hover over it and see what the block is called in the little book gooey thingy. But that's the engineer's block, so I don't know what those are supposed to be. Maybe you have to do it from the bottom and have it connect to the top. I don't know. Okay. So imagine that's the center. Um, and then I think they have that. Um, what's on the next layer? Okay, we have the four barrels in this corner and the redstone over here. Four barrels. Um, why is that one red? Is that where the piston's supposed to go? No, the piston goes on top of the middle block with the three fence surrounding it. The piston's gonna be the hardest part, but I can turn it. Um, with my trusty wrench. Uh, bottom bling, bottom boom. Now, will you behave? Uh, let's see. Um, ooh. Oh, that does look like it connected. So let's put you there. Does it connect you? Oh no, it's still connected over there. to connect to that. I don't know if that matters uh, in the formation of it. Um, but that is it. Okay, so we need our hammer now. And what did it say to put the hammer on? The central wooden barrel. Oh, it worked! Okay, I guess the pipes didn't matter. Okay, so this is the output. And the 
this is the inputs. Um, and there is the power, I guess, right there. Um, so instead of doing a chest, I think I want to do an interface. Just put it directly into the system. Oh, and I got tons of interfaces. So that is swell. Um, put it there. Um, and then we need to get a crafter, I guess. Um, also, I saw a video where somebody put a crafter right up to this and it worked. Uh, it may, it may only be for like the simple machine where it only takes one item. Uh, no. Oh, and you're the wrong way. Of course you are. There you go. Um, but I would definitely like to try that out. Uh, so let's make some wire. See if that works. Um, yes. Okay. Well, it works for this. Because I thought about maybe doing one for the plates. I don't know. I already have the plates figured out. Um, let's see. Does it... Plate. Let's do this. Because I just want to get the recipe. Like an iron plate. You can hammer it one for one. You can cook it in the multi servo press one for one does putting on the metal press give you better no so i don't see a reason to change what i have already set up if it's not going to make it more efficient if that makes sense uh, so i already have the plates uh, so i guess that's no, no big deal but that that is Big. I just don't know. Let's try it over here. Um, see if this will work a little bit better. Oh, maybe if I. Yeah. And then steal you, connect you up, put the pattern in, with the speed upgrades, um, and then try it out. Of course, um, it should be like auto crafting those two. Oh, we have the 1.5k and we have so we can't really test it out. Um, can I? No. How about you show me? Uh, only craftables. I just want to try it out. Oh, it did work. Why didn't it work for me before? So I did try that. It just didn't work. Uh, but that definitely did work. So sweet. Uh, we don't need to make a hopper or anything to connect those together. So that is good. We can just put uh, the crafter directly onto this thing. Um, did I ask for a crafter? Is it busy doing something else? Um, let me 
it's not doing anything, okay? Ah, oh, there it is. I just wasn't patient enough. Okay. <laughs> Oops. No, we don't want to go there. Okay. So, crafter goes here. We'll just change it with the wrench. There we go. The crafter is in place. Um, uh, my only thing is, is this going to push it out into the interface? Uh, hopefully that's what happens. Um, it's not going to be, I don't really know how this machine works. Oh, we do need to give it power as well. I don't think I have any points left, but I can craft one. Did it have to make something? long. It's not a complicated craft. Maybe I didn't do the thing? My system is like zorking on me. Okay, <laughs> um, we'll let that give it a second. Okay, we need to get our cable out here too. I like to bury it. Okay, so we need one side to come over this way. Um, too far. And then the other one can go to the other side. need to make a recipe for um, the hop graphite and we need to teach the system how to make uh, cold coke um, just the only way I have to make cold coke is very slow processing recipe um, no we need you yeah so <laughs> that's only part of the battle uh, now we got to teach it cope dust um, another processing one. So might as well go ahead and grab you. Um, is there a easier way to make cold coke? You can make it in the coke oven. Um, and you can make it in a multi-circle press, okay. Or pyrolyzer. Pyrolyzer. <laughs> That's a thermal thing. I don't know. Um, 
but we can at least speed this up where if we need more uh, actually I don't really need that much of this stuff because we're making the seeds so I'll only need enough to make four so it might not be worth it to make this machine we might already have enough uh, cold coke to suffice is what I'm saying um, uh, so we can just go straight to let's go look So maybe we have another guide in here. Uh, simpler. Here's the crusher. Warning, do not jump in. Okay, so it doesn't look too bad. Um, nine hoppers. I think we should have a few hoppers. Didn't I just put two hoppers in there? Or hmm. okay, so um I'm gonna have to build the crusher in between the episodes because we kind of run out of time and my system is not crafting things. It hasn't crafted my points, it hasn't crafted my hoppers. Um, is there something wrong? Do I have a disc full? I mean, my discs look pretty good. It's only at 104. So let's go ahead and turn in all some of these quests because um, we got a lot of them uh, for the industrial squeezer. Got an obsidian boat, yes. And for oh, we got tons of seeds uh, for the squid seeds. We got a light blue laser lens. We got pig iron seeds. Oh, an ender chest, a uh, refined obsidian, a knowledge concentrator, another knowledge concentrator. No, wait, I think that's a tier three storage module. Experience seeds, a sojourner sash, gas seeds, skystone seeds. Okay, we didn't have it, so cool. Nickel seeds and inter 
tank, Constantine seeds, an air sigil. Those are pretty good. It's gas tears. Ooh, a pink mycelial generator. Um, I heard that those are the new rainbow generators, and I never set up a rainbow generator. Ooh, we got electrum seeds that we already had. That would have been good to get before. Ooh, some draconium. How much? Let's see at the end. Episode. Terra still leggings and the dragon egg seeds. A supreme black hole tank. Um, that is pretty amazing. And engineering, engineering, energizing rods. Uh, so there we go. We got all our goodies. Ooh, we got 32 draconium. Some seeds. Get rid of you. Uh, I need you. There we go. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> we'll get that crusher up uh, and going. And then we'll get the last seed in production. And then we can start making uh actually i think there's one more step we got to do before we can make the ultimate singularity and that's to um let's just look let me show you i forgot what it was called it's it's a singularity but it's a quantum entangled singularity through implied applied energistics and we have to cause an explosion with the singularity and it injured us uh, so, yeah. Um, I don't know how to do that, but we might go into the compact machine and try to do that uh, so it doesn't tear anything up. Uh, so, yeah, we gotta figure that out too. So, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye!